now he just kind of <laughs> I don't know. He just kind of shoves him in the same way. He just used half his body and kind of and just raises his shoulder, almost like you're I don't know, doing like a weight lift. Uh, nonetheless, I'm going to share this video, and then we'll we'll play it one time, and then I just like to get some reactions. So if you'll give me just one moment here to switch my screen. I'll play it once at full speed. Just maximize it. And then maybe I'll do a little uh, slow down for it. Oh, yes. God, it really looks like the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Okay, and that is it. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, whatever. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think there's a couple things here. It's it's different than the previous demo. Um, you know, I think the first time around he had two hands. Now they're doing one. Uh, the guy on the left does look like he's putting all of his weight on him. So the setup is better uh, than some of the previous ones. He's still kind of far away. But what do you guys see uh, in terms of the gem on the right wearing the jacket? Let me let me slow this down here. For the core speed. And then, yeah, what do you guys see going on here? You go for it, Mike. All right, can you go back to, like, the moment of contact? Because that's, like, more important, really. Okay, here, I'll just I'll play it from right here. He's grabbing. Right here. So he's... He stop it there, yeah. He's already kind of initiating something, right? Like there, there is a reaction, basically. Like I must do something when this person grabs. Where I, one of the tests we do sometimes in class to see if like a person has really got into that proper state is like when you adjust them, you grab their hand and there's no reaction from the person. Like there's no tension, there's no feedback, there's no information at all. And they're like, oh, okay. This is probably going to work now. Whereas as soon as I see this person on the left grab this person on the right, there's already this like preemptive motion. Like, okay, he's grabbed me. I need to like do something to him basically. So that's the first part. And then if you continue the video. Now he just kind of. <laughs> I don't know. He just kind of shoves him in the same way. He just used half his body and kind of and just raises his shoulder, almost like you're, I don't know, doing like a weight lift. Which, by the way, is not a bad experiment to do if you do it right. Mm -hmm. so, so I see a lot of like, okay, I push into the ground, which is it's. None of this is bad, per se. It's just not what Ark was doing, for sure, and not what we are trying to achieve. And so I don't, I don't want to like be too mean about it, but it's, it's not going to work on when you have a significant, really significant conditioning and a really significant like, uh, weight differential. I would add that the way that the guy holding, like he thinks he has his whole weight on him, but he doesn't. Like there, there's a way where notice how his head is forwards and he's using only his back muscle to apply that pressure. And he's actually fairly far away from um, the gentleman in the green jacket. That's not his whole weight. In fact, during the Shioda video, Akuzawa Sensei gave Oshida-san, an instruction on how to align the tailbone properly and um, make a like a triangular configuration with both hands and then uh, connect that to the tailbone and then consequently to the ground so that the power line basically lines up. And when you hold somebody down like that, the difficulty factor goes up by like a lot. 
which by the way that's not how maul was holding akuzawa sensei down either so i'm not going to say that you know um if you were going to recreate the demo though and i look at like maul maul has way better structure way better like body organization than this guy than this gentleman in the in the sweater so it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison plus maul is like the weight differential between uh, these two people is much smaller versus um say akuzawa sensei and maul maul is ginormous <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, compared, compared to Akazawa Sensei, mm -hmm. you know, weight differential wise. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't entirely recreate that particular demo. I mean, no. you need the same seating arrangement. So, I mean, it's it's fair that's not exactly the same. And, yeah. you know, I, I think the gentleman on the right, and we would agree, then is not trying to do exactly the same thing. Um, but I, I think it's also fair to note that. You know, the last video that we saw with him, um, he did rise up off the ground. His buttocks mm -hmm. came off the ground. But even in this one where he's not doing that, you can still see that he's pushing off the ground. He's, he's, mm -hmm. still, he's still going up mm -hmm. uh, away from the ground when he rises up. Uh, it, it looks like, yeah, like right there you can see. Mm -hmm. It looks like, like the top half of the body is rising up. So, I mean, this this is pretty indicative of the way that they're going to train because, like, you know, they're going to open, you know, what is it, open like this and use the, the back here to, to open like this. So his elbow is coming out because he's thinking, oh, the guy's holding me, so I'm going to use my back, you know, the breath pressure, et cetera, and the, the grounding, and I'm going to lift him up, which is what we've been trying to say is that that's not actually what's happening and so what he's probably thinking is like oh it's waiter gin because like you know you balance that person here although i'd argue like you know whoever's doing this is like you you've actually lost the balance component because you're shoving him up your partner up so technically like one of one of one of the physical requirements for agate is that your elbow is down and it's and it's and it remains down for a reason, so that you're not actually using uh, the was it the the posterior chain or where it's not really the posterior chain that back sheath. So in Chinese in the Chinese terminology, it was the yang the yang side, right? So Akazawa Sensei will actually like he'll try and access the yin side or the anterior chain, erase the incoming force. And then that makes it a lot easier to to raise that person. 